In this video, we're going to be doing some experiments with sweet potato slips, which I have here, which have been harvested from a sweet potato plant. Let's go outside and have a look at the plant so you know what I'm talking about. So this is the sweet potato plant here. It's got these kind of like triangle shaped leaves. Um, these are beans, so ignore the beans, but essentially I've got three sweet potato plants growing, one, two, and three, and from them, they've branched off and made all of these vines, which you can essentially snip off and create a slip. Now to do that, you just grab the vine, and you, you want a, a few leaves on it, let's say five or six, and then you cut it here, just below where the leaves uh, come out of the plant itself and you can just cut that and then pull off these lower leaves and place the stem into a jar of water whatever is below the water line just where the the leaves would have sprouted out of will shoot roots into the water everything above the, the water line won't grow roots so if you've got any leaves below the water line you need to cut them off otherwise they will rot in the water but everything above it will be fine and from a sweet potato plant like this, it doesn't necessarily need to be in the ground to be, to be able to harvest them. You can harvest them from a sweet potato itself if it's sprouting in your kitchen or anything like that. And, you know, the bigger these are, the better, because then your, your plant will grow quicker. But they don't have to be massive. So this is three sweet potato slips that I've cut from that plant we just looked at. And essentially, I have an example here of a perfect cutting to make a slip from. So you've snipped it there and I've removed the bottom leaf. So I've snipped it just below where a leaf would have sprouted and I've removed that leaf. I've removed this leaf here and it sprouted roots and same again here but I've left these leaves on and it, when it sits in the jar as you can see those leaves are above the waterline and the roots are below it so that's where they sprout. So that's how you make a perfect cutting. But it got me thinking what happens if I make a cut here and a cut further up and essentially from one vine make multiple slips? And yes, it, it will sprout. In fact, I've got another one here which is just the same as that. But in here, the third one, I've done exactly that. And in fact, the same branch I've put into the water twice and it sprouted roots on both sides. So it's a, a U-shape. Essentially, it was just a straight um, vine like this. I've cut here, cut here, and removed that section out of the vine from outside on the plant we just saw, bent it in half, and removed the leaves as we discussed. And now we've got roots on both sides. So if I plant that, it will now grow two sweet potatoes from one vine how good is that essentially doubling your harvest versus doing one at a time like this now this will put a lot more stress on the plant and potentially the sweet potatoes will be smaller but you'll get two now i have not grown this yet obviously i've just done this i did not expect the um, roots to grow on both ends like this but i'm going to plant that in, in a pot outside and we'll see how that grows and just for curiosity's sake, these have been sitting in the water for about five days. So it does not take very long at all to be able to grow those roots. Right, so this cool science experiment is pretty cool, isn't it? So we're going to plant that. But I wanted just to, just, just to talk about the leaves themselves. You can't just snip the leaf off and plant that in the water. So this leaf here, I've actually had it sitting in the water alongside all of these other vines for the same amount of time. And it has not sprouted roots whatsoever. The leaf is absorbing the water, it hasn't wilted, but it's just going to be a leaf. So you do need a stem in order to make viable roots grow out of your slip. All right, let's go and plant this puppy in the garden. Now firstly, because this is a bit of an experiment, I've only got this small ice cream tub to plant it in. Really you'd want something that is bigger than this, maybe 30 centimeters at least round and maybe a bit deeper than that. But for the purpose of this experiment, this shall do fine. So I'm going to plant this in here and hopefully in a later video, we'll show you the results of this, whether or not it grew two sweet potatoes in this pot. And because it's such a small pot, 
I, I'm not expecting the sweet potatoes to grow massive, but I will be able to pull them out after a, a month or so to see if it's actually created two sweet potato tubers. So stand by for that video in a future upcoming video. And that's it for today. Uh, let's bury this puppy in here. I keep calling it a puppy. It's not a dog. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Let's just remove some of this. Got a lot of plants here in the garden. Got a gun too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You know how to plant a pot. Let's do some magic and get this planted. Three, two, one. There we go. Magic planted in there. And you can see it's a new shape. So give this video a like and a thumbs up and a comment, especially if you want to keep me motivated to show you the results of this in a few months. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this potato slip experiment video. And as usual, I'll see you next time. Bye.